They may have played the happiest BFFs on TV, but in real life, the cast members of Friends haven't exactly had it easy. We decided to take a look at the cast's darkest and weirdest secrets. Jennifer Aniston was estranged from her mother. For well over a decade, Jennifer Aniston was estranged from her mother, Nancy Dow. The reason? In 1999, Dow published a tell-all book called From Mother and Daughter to Friends, a memoir. Although Aniston claimed in a 2015 interview with The Hollywood Reporter that she and Dow are, quote, all fine now, the Emmy winner admitted things were pretty rough for a while, especially when she was growing up. Aniston explained, quote, she was very critical of me because she was a model, she was gorgeous, stunning, I wasn't, I never was. I honestly don't think of myself in that sort of light, which is fine. She was also very unforgiving. She would hold grudges that I found so petty. Dow divorced Aniston's father, Days of Our Live star John Aniston, in 1980. Meanwhile, Dow was not invited to her daughter's wedding to Brad Pitt in 2000 or her 2015 wedding to Justin Thoreau. Jennifer Aniston didn't invite half the cast to her wedding. Also missing from the guest list for Aniston's surprise nuptials to Justin Thoreau, half of the cast of Friends. Just days after news hit TMZ, it was revealed that Aniston's co-stars, Matt LeBlanc, Matthew Perry, and David Schwimmer, didn't get invites. LeBlanc told people, quote, I think she's happy. That's all I care about. If she wanted me there, I would have been there. Matthew Perry admitted to being surprised by the wedding news, saying, quote, It was a surprise to me as well. I wasn't invited. So what can you do? So much for being friends. Matthew Perry battled addiction for years. Matthew Perry has been open and honest about his struggles with substance abuse which sent him to rehab twice during the peak of Friends' success. But the now sober actor managed to shock us once again when he admitted to BBC Two Radio in 2016 that his addictions caused him to forget filming three years of the show. When asked to pick his least favorite episode of Friends, his answer was, well, sobering. Quote, I think the answer is, I don't remember three years of it. Matt LeBlanc had two DUIs. Speaking to the UK's Telegraph in 2014, LeBlanc let it slip that he's been arrested multiple times in the past for driving under the influence. After discussing his character's DUI arrest in Season 3 of Episodes, he'd revealed that he had gotten busted for driving under the influence twice. He elaborated, quote, When I was young and stupid, I wasn't driving fast, just crooked. The press never got a hold of the mugshots. I was lucky. For his sake, we hope TMZ did not read that interview. Matt LeBlanc surprised his wife with a divorce. In 2006, LeBlanc shocked everyone, including his wife Melissa, when he filed for divorce, and had, quote, hoped for a reconciliation. That turned out to be impossible, though, because LeBlanc was already dating his Joey co-star, Andrea Anders, as early as January. According to People, some allege that LeBlanc's relationship with Anders, whom he had dated for eight years until they split in 2015, was one of the causes of his divorce. LeBlanc chose not to comment. Matt LeBlanc once got cozy with a stripper, in a surprise twist of events, LeBlanc actually admitted during an interview in 2005 that he had interacted with a quote, sexually aggressive stripper while on a motorcycle road trip with five of his friends in Canada. He told the National Enquirer, quote, the stripper was all over me. I was drinking and she was crossing the line. When I realized the situation that was unfolding, I felt I was being careless and irresponsible and I had to get the hell out of there. Pretty sure that's been said by every guy in a relationship after getting a strip joint lap dance. Courtney Cox mysteriously stopped production of Cougar Town. In 2009, Courtney Cox unexpectedly halted production of her hit ABC sitcom Cougar Town due to what her reps described at the time as, quote, a private family matter. The production hiatus lasted about a week. To this day, the actual family matter was never actually revealed, which is pretty strange. And speaking of strange, Courtney Cox's divorce from David Arquette was kind of weird. Courtney Cox and David Arquette, who met on the set of the 1996 slasher movie Scream, announced that they were separating after 11 years of marriage in 2011. Oddly enough, the couple didn't actually go through with the filing for the divorce until about two and a half years later and committed to raising their only daughter, Coco. That relationship might explain the delay. Cox told More Magazine in 2014, quote, in a divorce, you always have regret. We were married for a long time, so it's not like we didn't try. A happy divorce? Who knew that that was possible in Hollywood? Lisa Kudrow got sued by her ex-manager. In 2014, a jury found Lisa Kudrow in breach of contract for a lengthy legal dispute with her former manager, Scott Howard. He claimed Kudrow owed him residuals from when he still managed her. Like, you know, from all those reruns of Friends. He first filed a lawsuit in 2008, and after six miserable years, a jury ultimately ruled in Howard's favor. As a result, Kudrow had to fork over $1.6 million. To be fair, that was only a little more than what she made for a single episode of Friends in 2004. But still, ouch. 
David Schwimmer pissed off his New York City neighbors. Like Ross Geller himself, David Schwimmer's personal life is, how do we put this lightly, kind of boring. However, he did wind up upsetting a whole bunch of his neighbors when he decided to demolish a preserved 1852 townhouse and build a completely new one from scratch. His neighbors eventually got so annoyed with construction that someone actually went and spray painted the words, Ross is not cool, on a nearby fence. Harsh, but something all fans of Friends have been saying for decades. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to see more videos like the one you just saw. 